Hello friends and welcome to day four of Vlogmas. Today I'm going to be showing you my bullet journal for 2019 and all the exciting things I have in it. So let's get started. So I bought this bullet journal at Walmart. I will link it in the description. It's a really cute like dotted bullet journal. You can see like the cute little details on it and it's the Pen and Gear brand. It was $11 when I got it a couple weeks ago. And it has um, 192 pages, which is super nifty for a whole year of just planning, whatever. You know, you can just use it for a month, a year, however long. But I'm using it for the whole year. And what I did is, like, of course, like, you know, you fill out your the front part of it, which is, like, name, address, phone number, yada, yada, yada. I haven't bothered with all that yet. <clears throat> I have, like, 2019 goals in here. So, like, it's, like, the first place is welcome 2019. Then I have goals of like uh, books I want to read, weight loss goals, um, be consistent on social media, like that kind of thing, you know, po post more regularly scheduled videos. I'm hoping to do at least one a week, if not two. I'm going to try to get back into reading vlogs because I had a ton of fun filming those and I have a ton of fun watching vlogs. So be, per um, be on the lookout in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be putting out a lot of like more vlog type videos rather than just kind of sit down videos. So like once I catch up on Vlogmas because I'm super behind. <laughs> then the next page we have what we call like 2019 and Pixels. 2019 and Pixels is what we have next. And basically like it's like a mood chart. So if you have like a really good day then you just highlight in one color. If your day is really crappy or you're just really sad for some reason or if you're really mad or something or someone, you just color it in different colors and by the end of the year it's going to look really pixelated, which is really cool. Like I love like pixels and stuff like that. And then the page opposite of that is books. So I drew out like a little bookshelf. So uh, the first 30 books, my goal for 2019 is 30 books. So when I hit those 30 books, then I'm going to start writing them on another page probably. And then we get into like the, the individual months so like I write birthdays up here and what my church does every January to start off the new year is we do 21 days of prayer and fasting which 21 days is typically how, how long it takes to create a good habit so down here at the bottom I have all these like little habits that I want to do that I want to start like eating well sleeping a halfway decent hour so I have those up there like you know drink water work out things like that and then i have glow stickles which i will link lobro's channel in the description as well but if you're not familiar with with lobro from lobro watch on twitch he does this thing called like glow stickles so he assigns a glow stick to a goal which this was my nanorima one and whenever you you complete that goal you crack it and then it, sh and then it shines bright which is super cool which this one's already been cracked, so I don't think it's going to light up anymore. So I have two goals on here for 20... I'm going to try to do like two glow stick goals a month. Try not to overlap them, but you know, it's okay if it does. And then for here, like, this, like the measurement, like, you know, measuring stuff like that for like progress and stuff like that. But I have like little daily charts on here of like, you know, workouts and what, what are you doing workouts on? Are you doing like an arm workout or a leg workout? And then to-do list, like a mini to-do list, and a little schedule underneath with what I have to do that day. And I have that for the whole month. And then we get to like the wrap up, so how many books have I read? How many days have I worked out? Um, did you accomplish any goals in that, in that particular month? Things like that. And then you know, you move on obviously February. I started the whole, like I started charting out the whole month, so I had to turn it vertically. So I still have the same habits from January with room for a couple more. And then I have the chart here, birthdays, like friend family birthdays, glow stick goals and stuff like that, you know, important dates like Valentine's Day and stuff like that. And then, you know, obviously we have the same chart, like I want to lose five pounds a month next year. So I have like a little chart here for that. And then we go into the days because I kind of did it by like, you know, days of the week. So I have like, you know, the regular weeks come kind of like this with like the three on one page with our verse of the week and then where we are in the month, stuff like that. Then, you know, after those, you have, of course, the wrap ups and stuff like that. And I did those for all the months. I haven't completely like finished the months 100% yet, but 
I did start doing like the year in review stuff. Like I haven't completely botched out like every single month yet. I have them all spaced out so I have enough space for each month. But then I also have the year in review. So how many books I've read in total out of the 30, if I read more or less. And you know, what was a favorite we read of the year? What was your favorite workout of the year? Like, and trips, like did you go on any trips? Of course, and I have trips on there. So like, did you go on any trips? Who'd you go with? Where'd you go? How'd you get there? Like, did you fly? Did you drive? Are, are you, did you see anyone you know? Did you meet any new people? Things like that. And then I have like a big 2020 goals. And I think the rest of this is like gonna be used for just different like charts and stuff like that for goals and all that stuff. Then like the rest of the blank pages, I'm actually gonna look on Pinterest, which Pinterest has been a huge help for doing this. So I am gonna look on Pinterest for some ideas for like year in review type things and like to put like for the year goals and stuff like that. Cause I love, like this idea came from Pinterest, the book one came from Pinterest, they're like little boxes, like that was all Pinterest, so. And also, um, I'm gonna try to find and link it. it uh, Nifty from BuzzFeed, who also does Tasty, they do. They had this um, bullet journal thing uh, video out a couple years ago, I think. So it'll be really cool to find that and watch it again, because like I have all this blank space around all of my like little charts. I have all this like white space, so I'm like, I want to make it like colorful without coloring each individual box because that would take forever and my art would be like exhausted by the time I got done and I would have to have like each each month have like a different type of color theme you know and Pinterest and probably YouTube and stuff like that to see what kind of things I can do for the little in-betweens. If you have any suggestions on where to look at videos for bullet journals or any sites like any bloggers or tumblers or whatever that or even Instagram like I love going on Instagram and seeing this so if you have any recommendations let me know this time have a great day and let me know if you are planning on keeping a journal like I said I will link this in the description as a really cute hardcover journal from Walmart it was $11 I think and they had plenty of designs with this was my favorite because it has a lot of teal in it and teal is my favorite color so have a great one guys